Selecting an aftermarket stage 2 cam incurs the situation of higher lift of the valves. You need to have enough clearance between the valves and the pistons. Colt says the cam is a straight drop-in for a stock motor, but with a note. This motor is rebuilt, and the way this weekend change of one lifter is going, this is something I need to check. You need to measure the height of the piston in relation to the block deck. With the Power Stroke 6.0, the pistons rise above the decks, and the OE spec is just larger than 35 thousandths, maximum. The combustion chamber is inside the piston. You could spend money on a specialized gauge, but if you already have dial gauges, and I have many, you need a base. I have several bases too but not ideal for this situation. You can use a straight edge across the piston and use feeler gauges to measure the gap to the block. I took a length of one half inch by three quarter inch aluminum bar that I had. I checked it for flatness against the straight edge. Drilled a 3 8 hole that is standard for dial gauge stems. Drilled and tapped for a set screw. And calibrated it off one of my straight edges. The procedure is simple. Rotate the crankshaft until the piston is at the highest point. Then measure across the wrist pin location. You average the two measurements, as any non-parallel conditions offset the measurements. I switched over to a black face gauge as it was easier to video. I won't show all the segments, but I ended up doing this three times. This is the reason for the multiple measurements. There was what I thought a lot of variation. And that's not good, as variation usually means you have bent connecting rods. And God only knows what this company used for connecting rods or how they checked them. So this brought this project to a halt. Because I'm not pouring a lot of money into this already rusting, clear coat peeling truck after what I already have spent. So I needed to do a reality check. David was in the middle of doing head gaskets and heads on his truck. He graciously agreed to measure his piston protrusion. So that added a little reality check. Another person had the block lightly decked. So he checked his protrusion. And Zeb, who was building a motor for an aftermarket cam, checked his protrusion. For Colt cams, he gets the pistons machine for 25 thousandths protrusion, just in case. I didn't see convincing evidence of bent connecting rods in the bearing wear, so contemplating this situation has taken the wind out of my sails. The other situation where you would see variance in piston heights is if the decks were machined at a parallel. But that causes too high of a piston height, not lower. So after stepping back a few weeks, I thought of something else I never would have expected in 50 years of working on motors. 
Let's go back to the measurements I took of the camshaft from this motor. They reground the camshaft so the base circles diminished and aggressively ground down the last lobe that was hurt from a lifter failure. So I need to measure the strokes of this crankshaft. The measurement has to be parallel to the cylinder bores. You need to find the bottom dead center. I'm starting with cylinder 5 as it's a good reference and videotaped better. So I have a consistent trend both in piston heights and cylinder strokes. This represents the top dead center and bottom dead center of a crankshaft's rod journal swing. The cylinder stroke. When you regrind a crankshaft to a smaller diameter, the centers of all the journals should be on the original center lines. If you were going to destroke a motor, you could regrind the journals altering the center point, but they are indexed the same timing. Sometimes that's done to alter the operating conditions of the motor. Cylinders are paired to a journal, cylinder 1, and the opposite bank, cylinder 2, cylinders 3 and 4, cylinders 5 and 6, cylinders 7 and 8. Rotating counterclockwise, cylinder 7 piston reaches top dead center, and then as the journal rotates, 
and piston 7 is moving downwards. Piston 8 reaches top dead center. But if your indexing of the main journal is off to one side, so is the rod journal. And now you have a discrepancy in piston height. And if both of your journal indexes are off, stroke will be changed too. You should go back home.